So, hi. So, hi. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's just, um, if you just, like, introduce yourself, a bit about yourself. And... Okay, uh, my name is Sayaka Ichikawa. I'm from Japan. Uh, I'm 32 years old. I have a son who's three years old, turning to four quite soon in December, mm-hmm. which is crazy because Christmas. he's about to sco- uh, start school next September. So um, I'm dancing with Ballet Black as a senior artist. I've been with Ballet Black since 2011, so this is my uh, seven. That's before you got married. Yes, yeah. Seventh year, but I had a year off, uh, almost a year off, because giving birth and sort of sorting out my life during that time. So How did you find that, like being pregnant and dancing? Being pregnant and dancing was absolutely because <laughs> it's crazy anyway. Living, I mean, I've got honest, people. Yeah, yeah, because I had to, I had to wear a tutu, and I had to do fuete. How? Oh. It was, uh, it was, it just looked ridiculous. I, I, I was on, I was on the, some very physical, intense piece, but straight after I found out I was pregnant, I wasn't doing it. So first half, I wasn't dancing. But the second half, we all were choo-choo and then doing classical things. And then my choo-choo just started to not fit properly. <laughs> so they had to add extra fabric to it. Oh. And at some point when I look at myself in the mirror, I see a little bump hanging. Oh. And the worst thing was um, morning sickness. Oh, yeah. When I was and dancing. Hormones. Yeah. Everything affects you. I mean, people don't realise, yeah. like, even just normal female things, being a dancer, you need to oh, adjust to that. Absolutely. Yeah. And my legs was cramping because of bumps. Mm. As um, my weight, um, yeah. the balance changed. Like so, you had to do a part of day with your baby. <laughs> I said my partner was freaking out first of all, which is understandable because you, mm. he, he doesn't he didn't know how much he can touch. Yeah, he didn't you know? know how. Yeah. Um and then yeah, for me I had to go to the bathroom before, just before go to stage and then dance and then a little mm, and then I had to go back again. Oh. So that was that was quite intense. But um, where everyone quite supportive. Yeah, yeah, everyone was amazing. Yeah, and then after summer holiday, I kept doing classes with the company until mm-hmm. four days before I gave birth. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because um, my back, my back is so straight, typical Asian body. <laughs> so my back was in so much pain mm-hmm. so I had to move yeah. the funny thing is I couldn't do back anymore yeah. if I got dancing with a pregnancy body so that was yeah. yeah that was quite interesting I don't miss it to be honest mm. and then I gave birth and afterwards it was quite difficult as well to be honest because everything happened quite quickly mm. for me I got married and then I got pregnant but I kept dancing and then somehow time came and then I gave birth so I think mentally I wasn't ready mm. so after giving birth I think I went to slight, lightly depression time mm. I was looking at the company picture or looking at social media thinking what am I doing they're doing this but I'm at home and I couldn't wait till my husband come home because I felt so lonely mm. and I didn't know what to do with my baby because he wasn't one of those that sleep well he was always crying so I couldn't even go to the toilet so every time I put him he started crying so I felt bad to even have a shower yeah. so it was a period of time and I had to have operation as well so I, I'm I had a lot after. going on a lot going on so and without your release yeah your dance would have been your yeah. absolutely yeah. yeah absolutely right yeah, yeah. so I started back to studio around four months after. Mm-hmm. I was big, everything was stiff, I was awful, but... And then I started doing Pilates as well at Romeo School. Mm-hmm. But every time I had a time to myself mm-hmm. in studio, 
I enjoy time with my son more. Yeah. And I appreciate the time in studio more than I used to now. Yeah. You've got more of it. Yeah. And the passion towards dancing is stronger than ever, I think. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that how with your everything, your presence and stage, yeah. everything. If, uh, it's funny, I don't, I don't recognise, but everybody said that I look like a different person mm. comparing to before giving birth. But it's a deeper mm. level of a connection with another human being. You yeah. grew that person. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and the fact that you don't put yourself first, you put mm. somebody else's life first. Yeah. Which is quite big change for me <laughs> because yeah. I used to be so Especially selfish. Especially with dance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, I think that all dancer is quite selfish. I mean, we have to be selfish, mm. you know. So self practice and self love. Yeah. yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah, so that's me. Mm. And I think that's important to know that there is like a balance. I mean, it's not always easy, but no jobs are ever easy. No. But you, you can balance it as a female, and especially like some of the old stigmas about if you have a baby, you can't dance anymore, or then you can't be a mom and you can't be a dancer, mm. you can't get your body back. And like personally, my body wasn't good before pregnancy and after pregnancy and having mm. children, I've never been fitter and healthier ever mm. <laughs> so it's a bit backwards it's yeah. just showing people that you can you know there it's just life you adjust and you adapt and if you love something you can and if you put effort to it mm. it will happen because mm. all the girls at Spanish Black is have has this amazing facility and body mm. and everything so I had to really work hard and I gained 16 kilos during the pregnancy time. Mm. So I had to work like crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but doing exercise at home after baby sleeping, that was kind of relief for me as well. Mm. So it was good, yeah. And I suppose that's an issue anyway. Everyone always feels like, like they're self-conscious or they want to be better or do better. And I think that like, some um, opinions obviously is like that women can be quite catty or their competitiveness fair enough in competitions mm. or if it's in a high stressful it depends on I suppose the company manager as well how yeah. the company is but I found it very much the opposite community, friendship, support mm. you know so yeah. how did you find it with because Ballet Black's obviously notorious for you know opening up side for culture and variety anyway so how did you find it with the female director and being part of Ballet Black for um, well I never really thought about director being female you know the difference or mm. I never really compare with other no. ballet companies That's good. But the best thing about Ballet Black is that I feel like we're family. We mm. we all come from different background. Yeah. Some never done ballet. I mean, they've done ballet, but some only started ballet when they were teenager, and they've been doing different thing. Or some is so many nationality in this company at the moment. So how they dance inspired me a lot because that's something that I could never dance because my culture has been so different. I never faced that kind of dancing when yeah. I was a little. Yeah. So for me to see that every day, especially now that we have to improvise to see how people move, yeah, it's really fascinating. Right. So I don't know if I'm answering your question. Yeah. But, but it's um, kind of a broad question. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I love being in this company because it's so open. It's we we get thrown all those tasks mm. or different challenge, and yeah. we do work together to make things happen, and we collaborate each other to make something that is special. Yeah, it's special. Yeah. 
We work together, and that's I think. And the repertoire as well is yeah. amazing, and the big variety. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Now we're doing some South African uh, dance as well with his, one of dancer uh, called Chuchu. He's choreographing for us next March, so we started doing that and and the Luca from Italy. So all the choreographer that have been coming here has mm. a different background as well. That's amazing. It's very challenging. We mm. never know what to expect. So we don't expect anything <laughs> on the first day. So we kind of just, you know, oh, trying to listen to what they're saying. Yeah. And then sink it in and, and try and feel natural as possible. Yeah. Mm. Do you ever do any classical repertoire? S- um, no. Traditional, I think some dancers want to, mm. but mainly we do original. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever done it before? Yeah. Like What's your favorite? Ooh. I liked um, Capilia. Yeah. That was fun. I had I could be no my no more yeah. dancer. This is yeah. really comfy. I know. <laughs> People yeah. sleeping here. Hang out at ballet black yeah. like, <laughs> and you've got gym as well, like yeah. gym machines and stuff. The first time, are those tutus are cool? These are, are used for school performers. Oh. Um, there might be some proper tutu, or maybe it's in the office that we wear for the drill oh. that we perform, and we're going on tour quite soon. That's cool. Yeah. Do you think they would ever do like any of the? Any old repertoire or mix it in a bit. Mm. We, I don't know if you ever seen Storyville. No. Um, it was choreographed by Christopher Hampson, mm. who's a director of Scottish Ballet. Yeah. Now, he choreographed that piece back in two thousand eleven, or twelve. And then he brought it back. Fifteen again, okay. mm. and little extra scene and everything. That's cool. So sometimes, yeah, sometimes we do bring in, and that depends, depends what the new choreography is like. If it's too dark, mm. you know, you don't want the too dark pieces no. together, so. And the yeah. season and the choreographers, like yeah, big commission. Yeah. It must be very difficult to choose. Yeah. Mm. For somebody who's right for this company, so. Yeah. Yeah, but Cassie managed like to do it for every season at the moment. So. <laughs> She's amazing. I know, so yeah. inspiring. And yeah, so she was the one who gave you the opportunity. Yeah. I hope she's not regretting. <laughs> it. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, that was through the associate associate program. Yeah, that's right. Kept mm-hmm. coming, begging yeah. her. <laughs> yeah. I I did. I really did beg her because I I really wanted to. I wanted to do. I wasn't ready to give up ballet. Mm. Point shoes, but I wanted to do something neoclassical because uh-huh. I knew that I'm not a ballet dancer, not like pink tights and tutu kind of material. So, um, yeah, I, I felt like back that time, I felt that ballet black is what I it was related to, yeah, it was yeah. related to me, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it, yeah, because um, I know there's there's another project. I'm involved in and um, with Delphine and Bizarre, it's like a comedic ballet um, comedy, like okay. ballet comedy. And um, we've been doing a lot of stuff with Capizio and they've oh. got like the brown um, yes. ballet, ballet slippers yeah. and, you know, to get the point shoes and the tights. And I think it's really important to have yeah. that whole feel of like it matches you. Yeah. You don't need to spend hours dying, oh. and, you know. Now that uh, Freeze does. Freed, yeah. Color of point shoes. So was gaining in them. So two girl, including me myself, mm. were gainer. So now that she can get special one. Which can I see? Yeah, about mine is mine is the one that died. I had to die myself. Oh. I do it with a normal foundation. Yeah. But she now got the special color for her. Yeah. I think they would do for my colour as well because it's normal skin, you know. Yeah. Normal skin colour type, so. 
Yeah. But apparently it takes about seven weeks to get... Yeah. A bit like special order if you yeah. wanted the box lower yeah. or whatever. Uh, yeah. Mm. Things are changing slowly. It is. Everything's changing. Yeah. And that's, like, part of the reason why I wanted to do this because... I heard a lot of things like around about like and obviously at the moment with people trying to get more female choreographers yeah. and and even ballet as a whole and um, some of the, the the repertoire and that is all obviously male composers mm-hmm. from back in the day male directors mm-hmm. the storylines are very from a male's perspective mm-hmm. so even though the ballerina is the central piece mm-hmm. it's very much like reflected society yeah. back then yeah, not now yeah. you know so and we've come a long way since then so mm. I just wanted to yeah so um inspirational women because <laughs> <Wow. laughs> I think you're very inspiring and the fact that you know you went to you know you did your course and um you did a degree and then you've ended up in like an amazing ballet company oh. you know and it all ties in together and I wanted to ask you because um I saw that you created a character as well well, you did some choreography, did you? Let me check. Oh. No. <laughs> I um, choreographer created the character on me. Yeah. 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 In Storyville and... That was it, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, uh, very mean how lady does... called Lulu White. Yes. How does that work if they're trying to create a character on you? Do they? It was so much fun. <laughs> I have to say because um, bringing back my old teacher again, but she said I could never act. She used to say uh, if I do Aurora or Black Swan, I'll look the same. Mm. And I do agree with her because I was too scared to bring. Yeah. But like you said, if it was like negative reinforcement for yeah. teaching, and obviously that bit didn't record, but it's just like positive reinforcement now. Yeah, true, true. I couldn't open up. I was quite closed. Mm. I think also as a um, traditional Japanese character that we don't ever express ourselves that much. So she gave you fabric. space. Mm. To yeah, so she didn't yeah. give me space, so I was quite closed. So I couldn't act. Mm. And then I came here speaking no English. Mm. Realised that if I don't speak up, nobody gonna help me. You have to help yourself. I have to, yeah, I have to yeah. speak up first so that somebody can help me. Mm. So um, I think I changed. I don't know when, but somehow I changed. And um, I started to not get scared of expressing myself in dancing and am I I used to be so shy nobody nobody understand I mean, me nobody yeah. trust me that I used to be shy but I was really shy I used to yeah. hide behind my mum all the time I did I used to hide behind <laughs> my mum's legs I can't speak mm. but um I changed so that I think that helped me so when he was making new piece in the character was already um, made on somebody yeah. else back in 2011 and he made an extra part which is basically telling the that character's the story, story. Yeah. yeah uh so that it was all up to me to bring it to life um mm. i could do anything I, so that's fun it was really fun. <laughs> freedom to create yeah. Yeah. so i just went for it and um, if the choreographer doesn't like it then he can just tell me mm. so i can do this or whatever but um you know instead of trying to think would he like this or this or mm. is it gonna be okay yeah you know i started to just go for it and then see what happened yeah that was really mm, fun that's amazing. yeah, yeah the, that's the best thing about ballet back you can't be yourself mm. because people are creating something on you all the time because Cass has set it up in such a way to yeah. have that expression Absolutely. and openness. You don't yeah. have to be somebody else. You can be yourself. And That's beautiful. Just be yeah, natural. Yeah. It's, it's really good. So have you got any role models, like, role models. or inspirational women in your life that mm. has helped you? Well, I know me. your teacher, you said, wasn't very... <laughs> yeah, I, I would say my mother... Not as a ballet dancer, but as a human being, mm. she she um 
she divorced and pretty much raised me by herself and I never seen her being sick or complaining or never saying no to what I wanted to do so she always offered to help and Mm. push me to do things and help encourage me so yeah I have a lot to learn from her because now that I have a son yeah I feel like I'm complaining a lot already. <laughs> so I'm sure she would have complained even if it wasn't in front of you. Oh. But, but that's good but because yeah. that relates. Like seeing someone so compassionate and dedicated, you can take that. You obviously have picked up from that and took that into your dancing as yeah, well. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. So, yeah. So have you got any like for people that are right there? going into dance or even through an other vocational pathways that isn't the traditional you know like with the the set structure of the school system with ballets and the ages or if they're coming yeah. in later or through a BI honors have you got anything that you'd like to say as advice is like or anything that you've experienced um, people do like name tag and things like that mm. if you're from famous ballet school from young age yeah you kind of automatically get that step up to next level without mm. being considered yeah but like we were saying you have to do it yourself yeah, yeah. It, if you really trust that you can do it and this is the one thing that you should do it for your life then mm. I don't see why not to put anything behind and just go for it because that's what I did I, I I left high school at age 14 mm. Mm. which you shouldn't do <laughs> <laughs> but I did because it's your journey yeah because mm. I wanted to experience life outside japan and Mm. and then because i knew that i can't go back anymore that drove me to where i am now so yeah just believe what you Mm. want to do i think yeah go for it yeah yeah it sounds so cliche but uh, yeah it's true (laughs) it's It's true true. it's true it sounds so like (laughs) like a usual comment but yeah no, it's good. Yeah, I do feel that way. Do you have any like cheesy slogans or mottos that you like? Or have you still go by? <laughs> I love seeing them on Instagram. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, I've, I've got a few, like the one that never let others destroy your inner peace, you know. That's that's quite important in the ballet world because not everybody would like you. No. Or even if they do, it's hectic and you mm. need to keep be the calm and run off the storm. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I've seen the comment on Facebook that if this Asian girl can be in ballet black, anything would be possible. So, uh, oh, I'm sure those other dancers from ballet black would yeah Some and it's the way it's written and yeah. it's about education about how to talk about these things as well yeah, because people good. aren't they, they they find like it's difficult to talk about yeah. and express and especially we perform performance is a live mm. live show so if you make a mistake you can't rewind and redo it no. and if people comment something negative about it then you just have to accept and move on mm. and look at the positives yeah the worst thing happened back in june when I debuted doing main role for this piece called Suit. Yeah. Um, it's quite intense piece and right at the end basically I com- I hung myself and commit suicide. And so it ends very dark, mm. light off and then people start people just was just silent because just that dead silent feeling of heavy atmosphere and then there's a guy saying rubbish. And then that was my first day. Oh no! Um, doing that piece, I'm thinking, huh? 
What did you, wait, what did you say? But the fact that you got the theatre yeah. and the audience to get to that stillness yeah. and that calm thing. So it's, it, was, it must be really powerful, right? Yeah, and even for him to respond in such a way obviously triggered something within him. Mm. But I found out that he had a um, dementia. Uh. So he was a bit... So also, know, like, not, not to take things personally. Yeah, but I still person. had to go on to the next, uh, mm. second act. But because I put so much into that piece. Emotionally as well. Emotionally, yeah. because yeah. I had to cry, I had to react, listen to what my partner's saying, you know, react to the whole story. I'm on stage the whole 30 minutes, mm. so I put so much into rehearsal and then even normal life. I kept looking at the video and what I can do, this and that. And then the first show, and I felt quite happy. I felt yeah. like I gave everything I could yeah. at that and moment. And that just knocked you. And then and as the, he said, oh, rubbish. So I just burst into tears when I got off the stage. Mm. I said, how dare him say that? But then I had to kind of pull myself together mm. and then go on to the piece called A Dream. Sounds a lot happier. Which is, yeah, that, which <laughs> is complete opposite, so you have to be quite... It's a, com- it's a comedy um, twist version of A Midsummer Night Dream. Mm. So I had to really pull myself together. And then each dancer just came one by one to me and then just gave me like, the biggest hug mm. and then um, support me and cast around from the audience and hug me and then be with me and then <laughs> have a little um, talk. And I was like, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> so yeah, all that, that, that was quite... Um, yeah, and you're already in that state mm. because of the performance. Yeah, exactly. So it was easier it to stay. Like, I was a hot mess. <laughs> I was a hot mess. So anyway, go back to the quotes, you know, don't let other people say what people say about you. It's just... Yeah. You do you. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Amazing. And is there anything that you would like to accomplish or do in the future or achieve? Um, I'd like to be a teacher. I'd like to coach. Coach? Yeah. No. I think I've got quite good eyes to pick mm. things. Because I, I'm quite good at learning choreography quickly. Yeah. Because it becomes when I see something it become like a video recording yeah maybe you don't really say Imagery. that now yeah. then it's like a oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a film <laughs> yeah. um, so when I see something different or you know mm. when people are dancing because I had to do um, some coaching rehearsal so taking rehearsal while I was pregnant so I see things and then try to make it and then when things happen the way that you want them to be. Yeah, it's very fascinating. So yeah, I like to teach and coach. Amazing for people for next for next generation. Yeah. yeah. Um, does your partner dance? He used to. He's now a teacher at Rumba School. Ah. So yeah, he's got oh, a lot yeah, of experience yeah. already. Oh, cool. So I got a lot to run. And your little one? He started doing little uh, plies. <laughs> yeah, he said. Pirouette, and then he t- he just turned one, and he said one, two, three, four, five. So he's already doing five pirouettes <laughs> in his head. But yeah, he's. But that is the trick. It's mental. So <laughs> seriously, yeah, it's a rhythm, isn't it? Yeah. But he seen us doing ballet all the time. I take my boys with me. Oh really? Yeah. I my little boy just jumps and he does oh, a pirouette in the air yeah, and then when nice. I'm practicing he'll stand there and he's like a mini choreographer he's really bossy he'll be like one two he'll count oh. and I'm like I'm feeling under pressure like, <laughs> I'll spot at my son okay stand on the chair <laughs> my son used to be opposite he would never go into studio um, he would say no 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 when he had to sit and watch me dance he cried mm. he was crying so hard so I would never enjoy bringing him here to mm. work, but <laughs> somehow something clicked. He and now recently he likes liked it. to do plie, and we do tanju together at home. So oh, yeah. that's he knows cute. what I do, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, oh, if he wants to do ballet, he can. Yeah. But he has to be really focused. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know how hard it is. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. Yeah, me and my husband. 
both can guide him if he really want to do it. Yeah. If not, then yeah, I'll force him to do something mm. else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. No, no, it's, yeah, it's really inspiring. It was good. Really? Yeah. Oh,